I understand Taurus is going to get some surprises this coming week. It is. I'm very excited. We have two things going into the sign of Taurus. This week. We have Venus, the planet of love, on Monday. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, the sun enters Taurus. And that's the first time Venus has been in Taurus for 14 months. So it brings, and I love Venus because Venus is the lesser benefic. It brings abundance wherever it goes. And I think that's pretty much in keeping. We all want to hear some good news. So let me get to it. Aries, first sign of the zodiac um, because the sun doesn't enter until Friday. For Venus and Taurus and the Sun and Taurus, for Aries, it's about making more money. And it's about making more money through the fruits of their own labor, through their own efforts. And the nice thing is that they, they get the opportunity to make more money, but there's substantial money to be made. So it's not just nickels and dimes. This is their best opportunity in 14 months to either maximize an existing resource, take on a new one, but it is earned income. For Tauruses, the news is great all the way across the board. The Sun entering their sign on Friday brings their energy levels back up, but Venus and Taurus brings love back into their life. They have really been struggling. Saturn's been opposing their sign since November, so like Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana, where it's always something for Tauruses, they largely get that break that they've been looking for. Well, so Pat's been looking forward to that. Oh, no doubt. She'll be really happy, and they get to attract what it is they really want, which is a very cool thing. For Geminis, not so much. For Geminis, it's the end of their solar year. They need to take a step back. They need to retreat. They need to regroup. They need to look at the things that they've done over the last year and finish up old projects rather than starting new ones. And they, lucky guys, get some help from a behind-the-scenes female that literally goes out of her way to help the Gemini, male or female. For Cancers, this energy is in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And they can actually reach out and grab that brass ring through the help of a group endeavor rather than an individual endeavor. Um, and Cancers, male or female, get some help from a powerfully placed female friend or ally comes to their rescue in one way or another. For Leo's 10th house of career and public standing, time to... Put your money where your mouth is. You've said all along, Leos have said, you know, if I had the opportunity, I would do this, this, and this, and this is the month they do this, this, and this. And, and I think the powers that be like what it is that they see. They also get some sort of professional assist from a female. Okay. For Virgos, important matters at a distance go their way. Legal matters, educational matters, contracts, negotiations. Very, very favorable time for a Virgo to get the equitable thing. Not necessarily the fair thing, but the equitable thing happens for a Virgo and they need to realize the law's on their side and when it is, use you it. gotta use it. Yep. Um, for Libras, the money gods, Andrew and Nikki, are smiling on Libra. And this is unearned income. This is money that literally falls out of the sky on them. This is money, the result of either work done in the past. Um, but whatever, the upshot is they have more money at the end of their month instead of more month at the end of their money. So that's great news. So Andrew's going to be out at the Hard Rock, I can tell you Probably. That. Yeah. And, and being rather lucky at the Hard Rock as Woo! well. Not that I want to encourage that, but... You're going to go, boy, that's the place to do it. Yep. Um, for Scorpios, uh, Venus is in their seventh house of partners, and Scorpios are going to take a hard look at their personal relationships, their interpersonal one-to-one -one relationships and their partnerships. And they're going to determine, I imagine they're going to have a whole lot of new best friends coming in their lives saying, I can do this and this and this for you. And they need to be very, very discriminating as to who they pair up with, who they partner up with. And kind of nice to have a selection to do that with. For Sagittarians, sadly, nothing but hard work awaits them. It's nothing but hard, hard work. Um, and some opportunity occurs to them in the work environment. It's not a better job. It's not a promotion. But some obstacle that had been in their way gets out of their way. So they have a much clearer career path. And I know Sagittarians are the procrastinators of the Zodiac. And they've been procrastinating about a medical thing. It's not as bad as you're afraid it is. So just take care of it. For Capricorns, love, pleasure, amusement, sports. Capricorns have been working very, very, very hard the last four or five months, and they pretty much have things the way they want them now. Now it's time to reward themselves a little bit, a little bit of an indulgence, either a vacation. If they're single, it'll attract somebody. If they're married, they really, truly feel the love, and it's a very fertile time for Capricorns. Oh. For, yeah, they need to know that. For Aquarians, it's in their 4,000th home, and Aquarians, much like the rest of the United States, are welcoming springtime and doing spring cleaning and straightening things out at home and trying to, to beautify their home or make their home a more secure, safe place for them to operate out of. And then for Pisces, the last sign, they're the ones that are going to have to hit it and get it. The pace of their day-to-day -day living is about to pick up to warp speed. They've got places to go, people to see, contracts to negotiate, things to do. They have a little bit of an upper hand, not a huge one, but a big enough one to where they can afford to be gracious um, in their negotiations and dealings. So 
that is tomorrow's news today. And then um, I wanted to mention that Saturday night I'm going to be at the Palm Harbor Library. They're having a fundraiser, and I'll be doing little readings for $10 donations to the library between 7 and 9. So come on out and see me. Great thing to do. I love libraries. And we'll see you back here next week. Always a pleasure. Have a great week.